Good afternoon, everybody. We're getting right into it here. Ethan B. for the Austin Waves. Popping out here. For the JV Highlanders. Taking the mound to start the game. Will be Aubin. Rocking the number 11 out there on the mound. Up now. De La Garza. Excuse me, uh... Braden S up now as that ball is going to get through the infield. He hits it up the left side in between the third baseman and the shortstop. First runner on. Now up. For the waves, Braden D. Excuse me, uh, Austin S. The three hitter for them. He's playing out in center field today, wearing the number five. A left-handed batter here, stepping up into the box. Will be the third batter so far for the waves. Big lead over at first base for Braden S. Will be pitching today for the Austin Waves. 2-0 count right now. To Austin S. Here's the 2-0. That's swung on and missed. It'll be 2-1. and one. You'll throw the runner back there. No slide necessary. That's also swung on and missed, so back to 2-2. Two, two. One on, one out for the Waves. Here's a 2-2. Two, two. Swung on, fouled into the glove of the catcher. That'll be the second out of the inning for the Waves. Folks, of course, all the, all the rage. We've got the broadcast team going here. Everyone wants to listen and tune in. So if you're already tuned in, thank you for joining us. Sorry we hopped on the air a bit late. They got going a little bit early here. First pitch time was scheduled for 2.30. It was quickly 0-2 to Brayden D. So 0-2, two, two outs. Runner with the big lead. That one is going to miss inside. It'll be one and two. Here's the pitch. That's swung on and missed. Second strikeout of the top of the first inning for Aubin. So Austin Waves, they will strand one runner on one hit, headed to the bottom of the first. You're listening to Highlander Baseball on Vibe Live. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeBYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3-13, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VibeBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. 
It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Back in here for the bottom of the first inning. In the uh, top of the first, if you're just joining us, we did get started here a little bit early. Austin able to plate four batters. Braden S reached on a single over to left field, but that was it. And Aubin able to strike out two batters. Austin S and Braden D for the waves. But now headed to the bottom of the first inning. Highlanders will be due up. They'll have their leadoffs. Jarrett will be leading things off for the Highlanders here. Here we go. Here's the first pitch of the day for the Highlanders. That's going to miss low. So ball one. Jarrett steps into the box. He'll be playing shortstop today. Here's the 1-0. That's swung on and lifted into shallow left. Able to make the play there out in left field. That's Ethan B. The leadoff hitter in the game for the Waves. Good contact on the fly out to left. I'm trying to lay down a bunt. That's going to pop backwards. We'll go directly into the net here. So De La Garza down 1-0 in the count, one out. Here's the 01. Little defensive swing there, and it's quickly 02. And that one's going to miss. Good take for De La Garza. It's 1 2, 1 out. Here's the one and two. That one swung on and missed. De La Garza is going to go down on strikes for his first appearance. So two up, two down for Braden Ness. He's been making Islanders pay at the plate and on the mound as he's facing his third batter here, Werner. Pitch misses low. It's one and one. One and one. Check swing. They're going to get it in there for a strike. So that'll find the zone. It's one and two. Down to the last strike of the inning. One and two with two outs. That 
That one misses outside. Good take. Number four, Werner. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And misses. Count goes full. And that's a swing and a miss, so another strikeout for Braden S. Ends the first inning. No runners left stranded, no hits. Three up, three down. We head to the top of the second. We'll be right back. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipe, V-Y-P-E dot com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipe, V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vipe, .com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vipe, Coming back in for the top of the second, Aubin will be back on the mound for another inning of work. Cody K leading things off for the Waves as he ropes that one fair. Ooh, no. They were going to call it foul. That was right there on the line, right behind first base. Good contact for Cody in his first pitch here and in his first at-bat. He's the five hitter for the Waves here. So with that foul ball, the count is 0-1. Robin steps off and back into the batter's box. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Weak contact there to third base. That'll also rule foul. 0-2. Aubin back on the hill for the Highlanders. Struck out two batters in the first inning. He's working on a third here. It's 0-2 with a third foul ball. That's fouled off. Another defensive swing. That one is on the outside of the zone. Fouls it back and out of play. Here's another 0-2. That one misses low in the dirt. It's 1-2. and two. Still staying alive. Good leadoff appearance for the shortstop. One and two is in there. Strike three. Got him looking. Bring up Xander R for the Austin Waves. Playing first base today for the Waves, number 14.
first pitch misses. It'll be a ball. One ball, no strikes. One out for the Waves here in the top of the second. 1-0 also misses. 2-0 count now. Fouled off, it's 2-1. Both teams wearing white pants today. Waves wearing red tops. Islanders wearing the home whites. That one's fouled off. Headed for the Waves bench. The Waves dugout, excuse me. And the count is now 2-2. Two -two. Job from Aubin working it back. Started down 2-0, it's back to 2-2 two -two with one out. Here's the pitch, that misses low, it's 3-2, count goes full. That one's grounded to left, long throw, may beat it out, and they are able to get him. Hosed him down, a good throw from third base from Greenberg. So after working the count full, Aubin gets the ground out. <coughs> That'll bring up seven hitter, right fielder, number three, Jack F. And as a fellow Jack F, I have to say that's a fine set of initials. But Jack F down 0-2. <coughs> Aubin putting together a solid second inning here, already with one strikeout, and he's ahead 0-2 on the third batter he's faced. That one will miss high. Jack's looking at a one and two here with two outs. None on for the waves. Here's the one, two. Swung on and grounded to third base. That'll roll foul. Good job by Greenberg letting that one roll foul. Still two strikes, still one ball. One ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch, and that's in there for strike three. Got him looking. It's the fourth strikeout for the Highlanders in this game. So no runners reaching base there. Three up, three down, second inning for Aubin. As we're going to take a quick break, heading into the bottom of the second. Greenberg will be due up for the Highlanders here. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipe, v -Y -P -E dot com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Uh -huh. 
Go to VIPEBYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vipe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vipe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPEBYPE.com. Back into the action here in the bottom of the second. Jack Farrell joining you here on the Vipe Live Network for a beautiful Saturday baseball game between the St. Andrews JV team and the Austin Waves. First pitch of the inning is roped, but right to the shortstop. He throws and makes the out at first. So a one pitch out for Braden S. and the Austin Waves out there for another inning of work. Put together a three up, three down in the first inning with two strikeouts in Greenberg. Grounds out to shortstop. The aggressive approach is here's Aubin. That one is in there for a strike. That one misses. So count even at 1-1. One one. That one misses as well. And it's quickly 2-1 to the pitcher. Pitcher on pitcher here. Braden S., pitcher on the mound for the Austin Waves, was able to get a hit in his first at bat. It was a single as this one's popped high into the air towards left field. And they call that a fair ball. Looks like it landed in fair territory, a little bit out of our sight line. But both pitchers with the one hit of the ball game. For their respective team. Now here's Harold. Who's playing at second base today. He's down 0-1 here. Runner going. And he is out by a mile. Great play by the Austin Waves to pick off Aubin, trying to steal second. So Harold, now with nobody on, he's down one and two. Here's the two-two. That misses outside, the count goes full. As that one's lifted, that'll be a hit into first or uh, into left field. That's a single for Harold. So after working the count full, gets a one-out single now, or two-out single, I should say, with the caught stealing. So now once again, Highlanders have one man on on first base. Brings up Suter. Suter playing catcher today. He swings and pops that one up. That's headed right towards us. It will stay in the fair plane, but catcher is unable to come up with that. So a fortunate break for Suter, who's also the catcher for his team. So the 0-1, two outs, one on. And they 
almost got him at first base on the throwback. That one's fouled back into the glove, so that's a strike. One and two to Suter. With one on, two outs. And that misses way outside. So two, two, two outs, one on. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. That is in there. What a pitch to get him looking. And Suter knows it. That was a fantastic pitch to get Suter. It's the third strikeout of the game for Braden S. As we are going to head to the top of the third. One runner stranded on two hits for the Highlanders after Aubin was caught stealing. Ground out and a strikeout to end things. We're going to take a quick break before we get to the top of the third. Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightBYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 13, not yet, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull it! Log on to VIPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, VYPE.com. VYPE.com. Back out of the break between innings here. Getting ready for the top of the third. Got seven innings of high school baseball for you this afternoon. Aubin back out on the mound for the Highlanders. JV squad picked up two singles there in the first or in the in the bottom of the second inning. Aubin, so both pitchers are a one for one in this game. Aubin and Harold both reached. However, Aubin was hosed down on a great play from behind the plate from Evan B for the Waves, who is leadoff man here in the top of the third. And that first pitch is in there for a strike. Maybe a little bit of vengeance coming from Aubin here. He's got him down 0-2 here. Top of the third, seven, or, uh, eight, nine, one hitters up here for the Waves. Here's the 0-2. That swung on and missed. Aubin got him on three pitches. It's the fifth strikeout of the game already. That'll bring up Nate G, nine hitter, third baseman for the Waves. Nobody on, one out. As that pitch misses low and it's going to go all the way to the backstop, but no matter. Bases are vacant right now. We're about a half hour into this one. It's a very, very great day for baseball. 70 degrees out here in South Austin as that's a comeback or right to the pitcher. He'll have it over to first base for the easy put out. Yeah. 
So very quickly, five pitches, two outs in this one for Aubin. So back up to the top of the order, Ethan B. Was our first batter of the game. He popped it out in his first time at the plate. Now he's up 1-0 in the count. That one's lifted into shallow left. And that is, uh, they are unable to make the play. It was in the glove and out. That'll probably go as an error, but we will count that for a, just a bloop single. So with one on and two outs, Braden Ness, the pitcher, will come up to the plate. He's one for one in today's ball game with a single. And he's up a one and on the count. It'll be tough for Robin. I'm sure he feels like he should be out of the inning here. Make sure he can clutch up and get this batter out. So that one's fouled back and onto the batting cages. Nobody, uh, nobody underneath that one. So one and one, off the foul off. Here's the pitch, that's in there for a strike. Braden S. he's down one and two. Tuning into some baseball after a weekend of lots and lots of college basketball with March Madness going on here. As that pitch misses for a ball, it's two and two. Hopefully your bracket is doing just fine. Had a bad hit with uh, Purdue going out in the first round there. I'm sure a lot of folks had Ohio State going further than uh, losing to Oral Roberts in the first round. As this one is hit over the head of the shortstop, that'll be in there for a single. Just station to station. So they throw that one away, and the runners are going to advance. Going to try and throw to third, and he's in there safely. So runners at the corners with two outs. Nate G stealing third base. So Brayden Ness, it's two for two in the ball game. That's what happens when the ball gets away from you. Here's Aubin once again. He's going to try and get out of a jam. Austin S back up, center fielder. His first time up, he was a strikeout victim. And he's cutting through the first one. He's down 0-1. His runner stealing, and that's strike two. They'll just let him take the bag. That pitch hit him. So from down 0-2 to the bases being loaded. So the stolen base, all for naught. But the bases are loaded now with the hit by pitch. So with things loaded up, Braden D, the second baseman, will step up to try and bring some runners home. Two outs, bases loaded. Let's see what Aubin can do. That misses high. Got the first two batters. It's been a two-out rally. The last three have reached the one, two, three hitter. Braden D, the four hitter. Was playing second base, takes that one for a strike to one one. Pitcher looking, he's got him off the bag. Ooh, that was close, but Austin is able to make it back first safely. 
He looked over to Ethan at third and looked over to Austin at first. Almost able to get him. But now he'll head back to the mound to deal. One and one. As that's the pitch. It swung through for a strike. So one more to go. Two balls, or one ball, two strikes, two outs. Bases are loaded. Here's the pitch. Misses. It goes to the backstop. Runners will stay. Catching a break there. Good job from the catcher. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bases loaded. Aubin trying to get the runners back. Anything into the outfield probably scores at least one. But the runners will go here with two strikes and two outs. Actually, no, they won't. Not full count. Is that one's going to miss outside? They'll go here. That's another one going to the backstop. No runner, though. So now, now all the base runners will be running, as that is the full count. Big moment here. Ball scores a run. And the hit likely scores two. Got to put out anywhere. Sears Aubin, payoff pitch. And he got him. Big strikeout for Aubin there. Ends the inning. So after a strikeout and a ground out to the pitcher, an E7 gets a man on. And then another single puts another man on. And then a, hitch by, a hit by pitch loads up the bases. But Aubin able to clutch up. So off of two hits. And the, uh, the, the waves load the bases and leave them loaded. They strand three runners here. Huge play from Aubin as now the Highlanders come back out here for the bottom of the third. Still three to nothing. Still nothing to nothing, excuse me. Leadoff man will be Bouillon for the Highlanders. And we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. And when we come back, we'll have it. Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightBYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, back in, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives in the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to FightBYPE.com. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPEBYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPEBYPE.com. Right into the action, first first pitch swinging, Bouillon grounds out to shortstop on the first pitch. You're here in the third. Higginbotham up, left-hander, playing out in left field today. That pitch misses high for a ball. Eight, nine, one hitters due up in this inning for the JV Highlanders. Higginbotham takes that one for a strike. Austin. Unable to score after loading the bases in that last inning, but here's a hit. It's a weak 
one into center and making a diving play for it. Are the waves, how about that one? From Austin S, center fielder. Back to the, oh, no, excuse me. We'll have a 10 hitter. We still got Jared on deck. This is the 10th batter going to the plate. Wayland for uh, St. Andrews. He's down 0-2. That one misses outside. It's so Wyland down, one and two. He's the right fielder. So they're employing the pitcher and the right hitter, and that is another nasty pitch to get out of an inning. Wheeland goes down on strikes. Back to the top of the order. So no runs, no hits for the St. Andrews Highlanders there in the bottom of the third. We'll head to the top of the fourth. Aubin back out there for his fourth inning of work. Going to go ahead and take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll have that for you. You're listening to Highlander Baseball on Vibe Live. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeBYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 13, not yet another. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone, touchdown Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one! Log on to VibeVYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. Touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Vibe Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Vibe brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Vibe brings you walk-off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left. It is going and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Vibe Sports. BYP. Back into the action, Cody K leading things off for the Waves once again. He's a strikeout victim in the second inning in his first time up. Playing out at shortstop. He's one one here, taking a minute to walk that one off. Aubin, here's the 0-1. That one's fouled off and out of play. Quickly 0-2. Got him looking last time. Imagine he'll be more aggressive at the plate here. Here's the 0-2. It's swung on and grounded over to the shortstop. Long throw over to first base, and they didn't get him in time. So infield single for Cody K to start out this top of the fourth. Brings up Xander R, big first baseman. After working the count full, he grounded out to third base his last time up. That was in the second inning. So he's 0 for 1. 
throw back for Cody K. Makes it back to the bag in time. Waves have been aggressive on the base paths. They've had a few stolen bases here in, the, in this game. Here's Aubin. Swung on, and that's lifted high into right field. Runner didn't tag, and that's going to land in. So we won't need to, so it'll be first to third. For, Zan or for Cody K, nice jump on the base pass, and he saw it was going to land in. Looked like it might have been out. But that one falls in for a single. So a runner goes first to third, so runners at the corners with nobody out here in the top of the fourth. That one's going to miss for a ball. The Jack F. Jack also struck out his first time up. Playing out in right field this afternoon. Runner goes. And they got him for a balk. So a runner will score. Don't often see box, but that's how the Waves will score their first run. Moved his feet off the rubber. As this is a weak grounder over to shortstop. It will be a tough play, and there will be no play at first, no throw. So runners once again at the corners with no outs. Jack F, single. Having a hard time getting any great contact the waves are, but they were just finding those gaps. So two on, nobody out. Brings up Evan B. The throwback there, keep the runner stuck at first base. Nate G on deck. The pitch that misses outside. We have a runner. He's coming, and he'll be safe. So on the wild pitch, Xander R. able to come home. We have two runs on. No hits, really. And they're, they've plated two runs without putting the ball in play, I should say. So that one's fouled off. One ball and one strike to Evan B. Runner at second. Still nobody out. As that one misses outside. Two one. Here's the pitch. Swung on, fab popped up into shallow right. They can't make the play, and that's in there for a single. So a tough inning continues here in the fourth for the Highlanders. Brings up Nate G, and after him, the order will reset here in the fourth. Already the fifth batter faced by Aubin here in the fourth inning. Playing to seven, I believe. So runners at first and second. No outs. Nate G takes his first pitch as a strike. Third baseman, nobody there to cover the bag. As Nate G steps back to, into the batter's box. The righty, grounded out to the pitcher his first time up in the third inning. 
as he takes that one in for a strike, and both runners are going to steal once again. Looks like he made contact with the ball once it came out of the batter's box, and that's going to be an out. Oh, no. He'll step back in. So we're going to have a... Now they're going to call obstruction. So the runner at third's now out. He'll stay at first, but that's a nice single through the gap. Guy coming in from third to home. They're not going to make a throw, so that's another run scored. So fortunately, they're able to get Jack F out at third there on the uh, interference from Nate G. So the runner at third is out, but on that single, Evan B., Going to go from second base to home. A little confusing here in the fourth inning. But it's now a 3 to nothing lead. The Highlanders will make a pitching change. Jarrett going to be the guy to take the mound, so he'll move from shortstop. Aubin looks like he might take over at shortstop. So while we do have this pitching change, the lineup will turn over off the single from Nate G. He's out there at first, so now one runner on with one out. And we're going to take a quick break to deal with this pitching change, and we'll be right back. KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeBYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3-13, about yet another verse. Breaking tackles, dives in the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. But takes the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VibeBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. Back in for the top of the fourth. Just one out so far. And three runs surrendered. Aubin's day is done. It was rock solid up here until the fourth inning. Six strikeouts for him. Now Jarrett going to come in to take care of the pitching duties here in the fourth inning. That first pitch misses for a ball. And this is once again the top of the order for the Austin Waves. This is the sixth batter that they are sending up, and that one's in there for a strike. It's 1-1. So one on, one out, one ball, one strike. Nate G over at first after a single into right center field. So here's the pitch that swung on and missed. He chases him back to first base there. So now two strikes to Ethan. Jarrett looking for his first strike out of the game and his first batter. So he comes in after Aubin goes three and a third. So that one's fouled off. Fifth pitch of the at bat goes for a ball. It's two and two. Nate back in safely on the throwback. The two two. As Ethan gets back into the batter's box. Righty, short uh, pants pulled up to his knees. Old school look with the stirrups. For 15, 
playing in left field this afternoon. That one's popped up. If they can get it, they can. That would have been an easy double play. But they can't get there in time, so that's a quick foul, and he'll stay alive. Here we go again. Throw back. They can't get him. It goes into the dugout. And the runner will advance to second base. So some tough fielding plays for St. Andrews in this one. Because now the runner advances. St. Andrews defense doing a lot of the work that the Waves offense should be doing here. So 2-2. Two, two. This will be the seventh pitch of this at-bat. That one's in there for strike three. Got him looking. So that's the second out of the inning. And the first K for Jarrett. So a seven pitch at bat ends with a strikeout looking. That's two outs. Now one man left. He's on second base. So runner still in scoring position. This is Braden S. coming to the plate here. He has singled in both of his plate appearances today. And he's also dealing on the pitcher's mound. So he steps into the box, a righty. First time he was up, his first pitch was a single. And he's swinging aggressive once again. But this time he fouls it off over down the third base side. It's 0-1. Still in the fourth inning. Seventh batter that the Waves have sent to the plate here in this top of the fourth. As he pops this one up, that's second base. He's got it under him. And they finally get out of this inning. So three runners score for the Waves here in the top of the fourth. But Jarrett comes in in relief, gets him out of it. On just two pitches there to Braden S., who had been a tough put out earlier in this game. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. Three runs score for the Waves. Now it's time for the rebuttal from the Highlanders. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vibe, B-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vibe, B-Y-P-E dot com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Back into the action, JV Highlanders will be uh, leading off here. Top of the order once again, due up. Jarrett, the new pitcher, will be back into pitch, or to hit here now, leading off. It'll be his second at bat. Highlanders sending 10 batters to the plate in this game, including the pitcher and the DH. So they have played at 10 batters through three innings, just one above the minimum. It's been a great showing for Braden S, both at the plate and on the mound. He's out there once again for his fourth inning of work. Starter Aubin for the Highlanders went three and a third. So we will see what Braden can do here as this first pitch misses to Jarrett. It's ball one. The St. Andrews team has gone three up, three down. 
in both of the odd numbered innings. So hopefully here in this even numbered inning, I can get a little something going. The Waves certainly did. They had seven batters go to the plate and scored three runs there in the third inning. But good job by uh, Jarrett coming in, getting two outs in relief, including one strikeout. He's one and one right now, now two and one. Here's the two one. That one misses for Jarrett, it's three one. We get very good for the Highlanders here in this top of the fourth if they can get the leadoff man on early, get something going. Jarrett fouls off the 3 1 pitch. The count goes full. It'll be De La Garza up on deck. Struck out his first time up. Here's the 3 2. Swung on and hit to shortstop. Shortstop can't field it cleanly, and he'll have this one easily. So an infield single for Jarrett here to lead off this fourth inning. Little thumbs up for the camera from De La Garza. Always appreciate a showman. The first pitch of the at-bat, that's in there for a strike. Braden looking at the runner over on first. Small lead for him. That one misses for a ball. One and one with one man on here in the bottom of the fourth. That one's in there for a strike. Center fielder in the two spot here. Former shortstop turned pitcher on first base. Is this one's fouled off? That's bunted foul. I think that's strike three. Judging based on that, I'm not sure. I'm not sure De La Garza knew that rule that if you bunt on two strikes, you're out. So he's out. <laughs> So De La Garza goes down. I think that's called a foul out, but tried to bunt with two strikes. That'll bring up the three hitter, Werner. Struck out his first time up as well. First pitch, fouled off. Excuse me, second pitch. Got out uh, just a bit in front of that one. Here's the one and one. And that's in there for a strike. Uh, Werner tried to check his swing, but caught the plate in the zone. Strike two. So one and two now. Already struck out once today. And he tried that Ephus, that little Ephus looking pitch once again. He's gotten two killer strikeouts on it, but couldn't find the zone that time. It's two and two. Four strikeouts, make it five for Braden. Got Werner swinging there. Pitch misses for a ball. Greenberg up at the plate now. 
grounded out to shortstop his first time at the plate in the second inning. Returns here with one on and two outs. Let's go ahead, 2-0 in the count. Good eye at the plate here. Right-handed batter playing out at first base this afternoon. So here's the 2-0. That misses way outside. And he's up three to nothing. I'm sure he, he takes all the way here. Three balls, no strikes, two outs, and a runner on first base. That one missed way outside as well. So a four-pitch walk to Greenberg. They've got two on. Here's Aubin, former pitcher turned shortstop for this uh, moving forward. Tall kid stepping to the plate here. Two on, two out. One runner in scoring position would be a great chance for the Highlanders to get some runs on the board. Or a run on the board. He fouls off the first one, aggressive approach at the plate. The fifth batter going to the plate here for the Highlanders in this inning or most of the ball game so far. Aubin chops that one set it back and into the batting cages. Lost that one in the trees made me a little nervous. You gotta protect your head. I think I have an idea of what pitch Braden might look to here. And he doesn't go for the curveball, and Aubin gets some good contact on it, but it's right into the weight and glove of Austin S., the center fielder. So Aubin flies out to center field. Some good wood, good aluminum, I should say. Highlanders come up empty, no runs on a single and a walk. They strand two. We are headed into the fifth inning. Austin Waves lead the Highlanders three to nothing. We'll be right back. Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at fightbype.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 13, not yet another verse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. What takes the Wilson? She fires the three. Oh my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to fightbype.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, VYPE.com. VYPE.com. Back in for the action. Looks like Jarrett will be back on the mound for his second inning of work. Came in in relief in the fourth inning. Got two big outs, including a strikeout. Got him looking. And he struck out, or excuse me, got uh, Braden S. out, who's been troublesome all day. It's been a great appearance for him on the mound, and he's two for three at the plate as well. Jarrett. First pitch. That's a foul ball bunted back. That's Austin. It's the center fielder. 
who made the final put out on Aubin in the last inning. Lefty batter kind of reached out of the zone to try and get barrel of the bat to get that bunt down, but he fouled it back and he's down 0-1. Okay, nice. Here's Jarrett. Swung on and missed. 0-2. O2 here in the top of the fifth. Swung on, grounded to third base. Long throw. And can't get the pick. And he's safe at first. Leadoff hitter makes it. Here into the fifth inning. We will have an infield single for Austin S. Brings up Braden D. Got two Bradens in the starting lineup. Braden Ness on the pitcher's mound and Braden D playing at second base. Runner goes. Bunt fouled back. And Austin is quick on the base pass. He got down there in a hurry. Here's the 0-1, one on, swing and a miss, 0-2. So two batters in a row, he's got down 0-2. Let's see if he can get this one. Braden D, number nine, has struck out twice in this game already, once swinging, once looking in the first and third innings. As this one is lifted high in the left field. Short, runners coming up, and Aubin is there for the put out. They're not gonna be able to get the force at first, but it's a pop out to shallow left, put away by the converted shortstop. So one runner remains. He's stuck at first base. That brings up Cody K. Had a single and he reached home in the fourth inning on a balk. As he's first pitch swing and heads up everybody. So this one's gonna head back to the batting cages and land safely. So more aggressive approach for the waves, swinging. All three batters of this inning have taken a first pitch strike, or rather I should say, the first pitch has been a strike. Some of them have been takes, a lot of them have been swinging. Actually, I believe all of them have been first pitch foul balls. Yeah, so all three taking their cuts or trying to get bunts down on first pitches here. That one misses, but they're going to try and get him on the steal. Good job to keep that one from trailing to the outfield, but that's a stolen base for Austin S. One and one. Swung on, grounded to short. Runner will stay, but quickly, and they aren't able to get him at first, but hold on, what's the call? So the yeah, runner is safe, and after he went to go third, the runner stole third. So Cody Kay reaches on an infield single, and the runner goes first to third. So runners at the corners and one out. Another tough break for the Highlanders. Just don't have the arm strength to deal with the speed of the waves right now. Which will bring up Xander R. Reached on a single and scored on a wild pitch in the fourth inning. He's one for two. He grounded out in the second. Runner goes. Ball lifted high into center field. They run into each other. And they're both down. Runner decides both to stop it first and second, so a runner will score. And we have a collision in the outfield. That's another uh, single going for Xander R. So runners will stay at first and second. Some good sportsmanship for them there. It's now 4-0 in the top of the fifth. 
And with that injury, we'll take a quick timeout. Both guys give them a chance to hop up and make their way off the field. Fight Live, formerly KMAC Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightBYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 13, not yet another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to FightBYPE.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Vibe Live, formerly KMAC Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeBYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 13, not yet another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VibeBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. Looks like we should be good to go now. Everybody able to get up under their own power here. We'll get any subs for you if we need them. Looks like Aubin will remain in the game. He's out there at shortstop. And I think we'll see. It, it looks like uh, Higginbotham might be Coming out to center here. Yeah, it looks like De La Garza will be exiting the game. We'll, we'll get uh, we'll get your new outfield here in just a moment. Maybe he's just coming out to uh, take a quick breather. But it looks like we have a new outfield. Seems like he just got the wind knocked out of him a little bit. There is a very, very cute little puppy that has just come up to me. So I'm getting some, some pets off on the broadcast. What's her name? Uh, Blitzen. Blitzen. That's a great name. I like the, the longhorn collar. We are getting back warm here. So yes, Aubin will stay. So yes, I believe De La Garza will be out of the game. Coming up at the plate now is Jack F. Singled his last time up. And he was the guy that was uh, removed due to the interference call. It's... Always surprising how unaware people are of the camera. Jarrett back on the mound here. Runners at first and second with one out. First pitch, and that's a grounder to third. I don't know if he tagged him. Well, now he tagged him. <laughs> he could have just got the force at third, but he'll wait for the tag. So Cody K will be out at third base. It 
It's a tough, a tough one. <laughs> but it looks like things are okay for the Highlanders right here. Looks like Cody might have got some dirt in his eye on that last one. He'll head off the diamond now. Two outs. It's a big second out. effectively kept the runners where they are. You replace who's at first and second, but still runners at first and second with two outs. The lead is four for them. Yeah, it looks like he's got a little bit of a bloody nose. He'll step out. And lots of injuries here. As here's Evan B. Comes in as catcher. Scored the third run of the game off of a single from Nate G in the fourth inning. That one's hit to third. It ate him up a little bit. Aubin's there and no play, so station to station loads up the bases. It's an infield single for Evan B. Most of their singles have been infield singles. Now Xander R. will move up to third base. Nate G. He's one for two with a single and an RBI. It was in the fourth inning. Defensive swing, he went around. That's 0-1 now. Oh and one. Here's the pitch from Jarrett. That one misses low. It's one and one. A light breeze today. Not too windy for the players, but it's getting a little chill in the stands. One and one. Two outs. Bases are loaded for Jarrett. So here's the pitch. That misses inside as well. It's two and one. Jarrett steps up to the mound again. Here's the pitch. That's in there for a strike. Two and two. It's a big plate appearance for Nate. Perhaps an even bigger one for the Highlanders. They've struggled here. They already trail four to nothing here in the top of the fifth. They've only got nine more outs for themselves. So if they can limit the offense to just one run scored here in the fifth inning. We'll see. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. That's in there for strike three. Got him. So Nate goes down looking on strikes. And for the Waves, just one run scores on five hits. They strand the bases loaded. Good job by Jarrett getting out of that one. So we're going to head to the bottom of the fifth here. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break. We'll be right back. Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightVYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3-13, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to FightVYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. 
For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPEVIPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPEVIPE.com. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeBYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 13, got in, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VibeBYPE.com. And back here for the bottom of the fifth. 6, 7, 8 hitters due up for the Highlanders. Harrell will be the leadoff man. Just his second plate appearance. He reached on a single the last time up. Worked the count full. Got on base with a nice little base hit. New pitcher for the Austin Waves. Jack F. taking the mound. Braden S. is moving out, just taking his place out in right field. So swapping pitcher for right field as Jack gets the first one in there for a strike. The 0 1 misses inside. High and tight to Harrell. It's 1 and 1. Swing and a miss. That's one and two. I believe, if I'm able to see correctly, Austin doesn't have much of a bench. I think they've only brought nine players here with them today, so they have to swap fielders for pitchers if they want to make a pitching change. As that's a defensive swing, but it bounces to the backstop, so this might be a free base, and it is for Harrell. He strikes out, but reaches on the wild pitch or the pass ball whichever is the uh, official ruling on that. We'll see in a minute. But he reaches nonetheless. So Suter now, number 13, struck out his first time at the plate. Sam steps into the box with one on, none out. Is that misses for a ball? Looked like the umpire wasn't quite sure himself. It was very borderline. Harrell at first. Suter playing catcher today. Sam pops this one up, and that'll be an out unless it falls out of play. And catcher able to, or excuse me, the first baseman able to catch that one right in front of the Waves dugout. So a pop out to first base for Suter. One away. Bouillon now. DHing for the Highlanders. That one's in there for strike one.
So O2 to Bouillon. Here's the O2, and that is, ooh, tough take. It's in there for a ball. Still one man on first base. Harrell reached on the strikeout. So he takes a big lead over there at first base. Jack looking back at him. The lefty on the mound here. Here's the one, two. Misses high. And Harrell's back safely at first base. Highlanders baseball uniforms. The number font reminds me of the Tennessee Titans uniforms of my youth. So here's the 2 2. That misses low. And it's, count, it's worked full. Good job taking some of these pitches. He was down 0 2. Now he's worked at 3 2. So with one out, one man on. Bullion has a chance to open things up a little bit for the Highlanders. Here's the payoff, and that's low, and that's a walk. Highlanders will take that. Two men on on no hits. A strike out and a pass ball and then a walk. Higginbotham up. Here's the pitch. That's high. Misses for a ball. Four straight balls now. Excuse me, five straight balls now for Jack. Two men on. One out. One ball. No strikes. We are in the bottom of the fifth inning. So that one's also going to miss for a ball. Looked closer. It's the 2 0. That one's going to be lowing in the dirt. Good job by the catcher. Getting a stop on that one. Evan has been doing a good job behind the plate. He scored a run, and he's two for three in the ball game. So he's been playing some good defense behind the plate there, and he's been doing a good job at the plate as well. So now 3-0. Taken all the way. That's in there for a strike. So here's the 3-1. Two on, one out. If you like your pitch, take a swing. But he didn't, and he takes it for a ball, or takes it for a strike, excuse me. So the count is worked full. It's the exact opposite of what happened on the last at bat. Bullion went down 0-2 and worked it to a walk. Now Higginbotham went up 3-0. The count's now full. Well, it's been a bit of a duel between the Highlander batters and Jack up there on the mound. That swung on and missed. Strike him out. A nasty one from Jack. Get taken bottom. So two on, two out. Looks like Stratton now to the plate for the Highlanders. Pinch hitting a four. Wheeland struck out in his only appearance. So O2 to Stratton. Runners will go. Here's the O2. And that one's foul tipped into the glove of the catcher. Struck him out on three pitches. Nice job by Jack F. getting out of that inning. So the Highlanders strand two on a walk and a pass ball on a strikeout. The offense still isn't flown for them here as we head into the sixth inning. We will be right back. You are listening to Highlander JV Baseball on Bite. 
Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPEBYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPEBYPE.com. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeBYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VibeBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. Back in for the action, lead uh, the top of the order due for the Austin Waves. Ethan B will be back to the plate. He's one for three in the game so far. And she, oop, and that's gone. Oops, lost my lineup card there. His first pitch, and it's going to be a pop up to the back, and right into the net. I'll be right back, folks. Sorry about that. Don't want to litter on the gorgeous St. Andrews campus. That first pitch was fouled back. This is this one. This one's right into the stands here. Watch out, folks. And everyone's good to go. So two foul backs for Ethan. He's down 0-2 here in the top of the sixth inning. Jarrett back out there for another inning of work. Hey, um, let me check this line up here. Looks like Hornaday will be replacing De La Garza in center field here this inning. And he got him on three pitches. So a good start to the inning for Jarrett. His third strikeout of the ball game. They got the leadoff runner. Brings up Braden S. He's been pitcher for most of the game. And got a lot of talent. He's two for three with two singles. Last time he was up was in the fourth inning. He popped it up and was put out by the second baseman. He's up 1-0 in the count here. He's Jarrett. Delivers the 1-0. That's swung on and grounded to the third base side. That's going to be a foul ball. Starting pitcher for the team, you'll get the win as it stands right now. So that one's popped up short. That's right to the first baseman, and he, after two hits, that's two straight pop ups for Braden. So two up, two down in quick order. Brings up the three hitter, Austin S., the center fielder. He is one for two with a strikeout, a hit by pitch, and a single. He also has a run scored in this game. It was the one scored in the fifth inning. He's back up here in the sixth, and he's takes the first pitch in there for a strike. 
Here's the 0-1. That misses outside for a ball. Jarrett in for his, we'll call it his third inning of work. He's uh, got the last two outs of the fourth. Made it through the fifth inning with only or giving up one run. Gave up a few hits, but did a good job getting out of that jam. So this is his third inning. He's retired seven batters, including the last three that he's faced. And that one's fouled off. It's two and two. Here's the 2-2. Jared on the mound, he delivers. Ah, misses outside, the count goes full. Payoff, swing and a miss, inning over. So three up, three down for the first time since the second inning for the Highlanders. They move into the bottom of the sixth. No runs scored. We'll be right back. Bike Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at BikeBYPE.com. Bike is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 13, back in, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to BikeBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. Here we go. Back here for the bottom of the sixth. Top of the order due for the Highlanders. Jarrett, the pitcher, formerly the shortstop, will be the leadoff hitter here. He's one for two in the game so far. With a single, reached as far as second base. He flew out into left field his first time up. He's done a good job in relief in this ball game. Four to nothing, the score here. Waves on top of the Highlanders. Good job in the last frame by the Highlanders not giving up a single run to keep their chances alive here. They need to get a couple guys across the plate here in the sixth, though. The first pitch goes for a strike against Jarrett. Jack F. back on the mound for his second inning of work. As that's in there, it's 0-2. The 0-2 delivery. It's in there. Swing and a miss. Strike three. It's the fourth strikeout for Jack already. Just his second inning of work. Two definitely, and then one where he struck the guy out, but the pitch went to the backstop, and the man got on base. So we'll give him it. It'll be four strikeouts for him on Jarrett. Hornaday, number five, who's into the game for De La Garza, who is okay, but got the knock, not the wind knocked out of him and had to leave the game there in the fifth inning. Pitch misses. One and one. One out, nobody on for the Highlanders. Hornaday. He's out in center field now. Defensive replacement as 
getting his first opportunity at the plate here. That one's low, gets away from the catcher. So two one to Hornaday. Here bottom of the sixth. Pitch is in there for a strike, counts two and two. So the 2-2. Two -two. Jack on the mound. He delivers. Here's the pitch. And that's strike three. Fooled him. Got away from the catcher, but an easy put out this time. He was able to keep it in front of him. Good job by him. Not letting that one go to the backstop, but that's a strikeout. So two batters and two Ks. Here in the sixth. It brings up the three-hitter Werner. First baseman stepped into the batter's box for the third time today. See, so ropes that one into right field, and that's going to get down. It was previously 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. So first pitch swinging for Werner. And that's a two-out base runner for the Highlanders. Smoked it. Here's Greenberg. He's 0 for 1 in the ball game with a ground out to third base, or to shortstop, excuse me, but he also has a base on balls. He drew one in the fourth inning. He steps to the plate here as that one misses low. one -oh. We're on first. Jack looks him back. Here's the pitch. Misses high, ball two. Mark Greenberg, third baseman. Had some good work in the field today. Struggled a bit at the plate. Did a good, good job drawing a walk earlier. Fouls that one back on the 2-0, makes it 2-1. Here's the two and one. Greenberg back into the box. Modest lead at first base for Werner. Here's the pitch, swung on and missed, strike two. Timeout taken. Two two. Here's the pitch. And that's inside. And they're gonna say he went around on that one. Looked like he checks his swing. It that one didn't look particularly close, but they're gonna say he went around. So strike three. And that is Jack striking out the side. Uh, yeah, striking out the side. Highlanders strand one as we head into the seventh inning. Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at fightbype.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, not yet another. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone, touchdown Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one! Log on to VIPEVYPE.com. 
for the end zone. Touchdown, Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Vibe Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Vibe brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Vibe brings you walk-off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left. It is going and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Vibe Sports. BYP. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPEBYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPEBYPE.com. Four, five, six hitters coming up for the Austin Waves and what will likely be their final three outs of the game. Braden D, man stepping to the plate. He's 0 for 3 today with two strikeouts and he's down 0 and 1 here. His last appearance in the fifth inning popped out to shortstop. Now it's 1 and 1. One and one, that's swung on, fouled back, well back. And that ball's gonna be gone for a while. Now one and two for Braden. And try to avoid the trifecta here. That one misses high, around his head. That's two, two. That's in there for strike three. Missed it on the swing. It's another strikeout for Jarrett. <laughs> Brings up Cody K. As that ball misses. Cody exited the Base pads after being tagged out with a bit of a nosebleed, so good to see him back into the game. He's two for three. He scored on a balk from third base. He also has two signals, or singles, excuse me, two singles and a uh, strikeout. So it's one on one with one out. So that one's popped up on the infield, playable to first base, and that's going to be out. So two up, two quick outs. Since coming into this game with one out in the fourth inning, Jarrett's only given up one run. So that one's fouled back and way out of play, right back where the other one went. So yeah, since coming in, he's only given up one run. And he struck out four batters. So that one smoked down the third baseline. That's a fair ball. Xander getting around on it. That's the third time he's going to be on base today. It's his third single. So a two out, a base runner. For the Waves, brings up the current pitcher, Jack F. Runner on first, two away. Xander, with his third single of the day. He scored in the fourth inning on a wild pitch. So that one misses outside, but brings us to the man at the plate right now, Jack F., who's been excellent in his uh, relief duties on the mound. He also has two signals. He was the man who was taken off the base paths because of the interference, I believe, in the fourth inning. He 
He's currently looking at one ball and one strike. That one misses high and inside. Two one runner goes. That one's popped up on the infield to on the third base side. Sun in the eyes and they can't put him away. It's a tough one. You could tell the whole time Greenberg was battling that one with the the sun and couldn't get under it. So Jack reaches on a pop out to third base. Runner moves up to second. So we got runners at first and second with two outs. Evan B stepping to the plate. He's two for three in this game. Playing at catcher. That's a pass ball, and both guys going to move up a station. So runners at second and third now with two outs. It's a two-out rally here. Got the first two down, and now it's been a bit of a struggle. It's Evan now. Looking at runners, two in scoring position with one ball. Two outs for him. As you mentioned, two for three. Evan, he's got a strikeout and two sig singles. Plus, he's uh, he's got a run scored here. As he swings through that one for strike one. Four to nothing here in the top of the seventh inning. One and one. Here's the pitch, and that's hit hard into center, and that's going to get down. That'll score two, but that's just a single. A nice hit that time for Evan. He scores two runs. That's a two-RBI single here in the top of the seventh inning. So now six to nothing here. Not the third run given up here by Jarrett in this game. That one's high for Nate G. One for three in the ball game. With a, uh, with a single there in the fourth inning. Runner goes. That one's lifted high into center field. Looks like it's headed for the gap again, but right fielder unable to get under it. it goes over his head. Another run will score trucking around the base pass, and that'll be in for a stand-up double for Nate G. Evan B going from first to home on that double into center field, right center field. Some tough putouts, but definitely doable. This definitely isn't really on the fault of Jared here. He's throwing strikes. So here's the first pitch to Ethan. That one misses outside. Top of the order back up here in the seventh. I believe that's the first extra base hit in the ball game. So runner's going to go to third. And they can't get him. It's going to go over the head of the third baseman. And they got the runner to third base. So since getting the first two batters in the inning now. The next four have gotten good contact and gotten hits. So that one swung and right to come back to the pitcher. That's a line out. So that'll do it for the Waves. They are able to get three more runners across. So seven to nothing here entering the bottom of the seventh, the final three outs for St. Andrews. We'll be right back. You're listening to St. Andrews Baseball on Vibe Live. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeBYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3-13, not yet another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, Philly pulls up the corner. Rotates the Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VibeBYPE.com. 
Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. Back in for the bottom of the seventh inning for the Highlanders. Last inning in the top of the, or excuse me, in the last half inning in the top of the seventh. They were able to, the, the Waves were able to score three runs on four hits. They stranded one guy at third base. But a tough sixth inning in a tough day for the Highlanders as Aubin will lead off here in the bottom of the seventh. Started the day at pitcher. Pretty good first three innings, fourth inning. The wheel started to come off a little bit. But he will lead off here. Jack F once again back to the mound as that one misses for a ball. I believe we're just sticking with normal high school baseball rules, playing to seven here tonight. So this will be the final three outs of the game for St. Andrews. As that one misses outside, it's quickly 0-2, or 2-0. Jack delivers. That one's fouled back. Two and one. Two one to the leadoff hitter Aubin takes it high. Three one. So leadoff man, one pitch away from a walk. It would take a pretty miraculous comeback here as they trail seven. It's always a good start to get the leadoff man on in an inning. As he swings at the three one, fouls it back, it's three two. Harrell on deck. This is the third plate appearance of the day for Aubin. He's 0 for 2. And he hits this one. It's a grounder up to shortstop on the bounce. He's, oh, he doesn't beat it out, but the ball pops out of the first baseman's glove, and he reaches. It'll be a infield single for Aubin to start things off. Excuse me, I uh, just want to correct. That is actually the second uh, hit for Aubin. He's two for three instead of one for three. The first time he got on in the second base, he was caught stealing, but he is two for three with two singles. As that pitch misses low and inside to Harrell. So all things considered, at least from the plate, a pretty good showing for Aubin. Maybe counted an E3, but if it's an infield single, he's two for three. And he had really good contact, one of the hardest hit balls of the game. It just happened to go right into the glove of the center fielder for the Waves as this one's popped into the Waves dugout. Hits at the ceiling. Sounded like a gunshot. It's always nerve-wracking, but Harrell is going to step back to the plate. One-on-one. <laughs> -on -one. Aubin planted firmly on first base here. Three-step lead off for Aubin at first base. Here's the one on one. Big swing, and that's lifted high into right field, trying to get under it, and he can. That's Braden Ness making plays out in right field now after an excellent day on the mound for the starting pitcher. He will probably end up with the win unless something changes. That's the, that's the first out here in the bottom of the seventh. Some good contact there, but right fielder able to get underneath. Here's Suter. 
who's over two with a strikeout. Last appearance was a pop up to first base in the fifth inning. He looks to make it one for three in this one. So he's got a man on base to work with. One out. That's that's high. It's first ball, one and out. Swing and a miss, strike one. One and one is hit well, but right to the shortstop, it goes under his glove. So Aubin will have a path to second base. So with that, that'll bring up Bouillon, this, the eight header here. Highlanders running with a 10-man lineup today, including the pitcher and a DH. It's a swing and a miss to Bouillon for strike one. Now two on, one out, with a strike. Strike two. Two big swings, and Bullion's down 0-2 in the seventh inning. Jack to the mound, the 0-2. Two on, one out. Steps off. I'm going to take a minute here. Now here's the 0 2. Delivery. And that's inside. It looks like it might have gotten a piece of the shin. But no. So no, uh, no hit by pitch for Bouillon. Bounced first. But Aubin will move to third, and Suter will move to second. So runners at second and third here in the bottom of the seventh board. The Highlanders haven't they've only had one man on third base all game, and that was Harrell in the fifth inning. So they had runners on the corners. But now they've got two runners in scoring position. Runner at second base and third base with one out. Ball and two strikes to Bouillon. He swings through that one. That's a strikeout. So that's the second out of the inning. And the Highlanders are down to their final one. It's Higginbotham. He'll come up and try to avoid being that last out. Higgy steps to the plate. He's 0-2 on the day. He had a fly out to center field and a strikeout. But he steps in. With two runners on, and he takes the first pitch looking for a strike. So two on, two outs for Jack. He's on the mound. Struck out the side last inning. He has 1K here in the seventh. 0-2. Oh, Here's the 0-2. Jack steps to the mound. Runners on second and third. They'll run on anything hit. The pitch. In there, strike three. And that will do it. On the final at bat of the day game, Jack F. Gets the final two batters on strikes. And that'll do it. Austin Waves, a great game from them. Great pitching as they complete the shutout here at St. Andrews. The JV team falls 7-2-0 on this Saturday afternoon.
Both teams doing a hats off to each other. I'd like to thank all of you for listening to St. Andrew's Baseball on Vibe Live. I have been Jack Farrell. Hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. Good night, everybody.